But so what something you guys might see here is we might tell you here's f of x. So a lot of times you'll see limit as x approaches 1 of x minus 1 squared plus 2. So if we need to evaluate the limit, when x then so what this says is as x approaches 1, and remember x is the input value, right? So as x approaches 1 of this function. So we already did that, right? You guys did your table. We created a table of values from the left, and we created tables of right, and we kept on getting closer and closer to 1, right? We approached it from the left and the, from the right. And as what we saw, by approaching it from the left and the right, we came up to our value that was equal to, what was, what was it approaching from the left and from the right? Two, right? So I don't, you know, obviously with, gra with the technology, you guys can see, you guys, can, you guys saw it from the table values. You can also just look at this graph. This is a continuous graph. So from the left, as x gets really, really close to the number one, right, we're getting closer to the output value of two. And then from the right, as we approach, as these dots, as the x values get closer and closer to one from the right, you can see, again, we're approaching this value of 2. Does everybody see that? OK? So the kind of trick, though, is when we know we have a continuous function, we know there's nothing, there's nothing crazy going on. All we really need to do is just find the value of the function of what it is. Right? Does that make sense? You just really need to figure out the value of the function. So we can play around with that. I'll give you guys.